A former Rebel baseball pitcher makes history on the diamond, but who is it and what did he do? Also, three Hayes CISD students were listed as the top 50 athletes in Central Texas, a select baseball team goes on a tear, and we name our next Athlete of the Week. I'm Moses Leos, and this is your Hayes Free Press Sports Roundup. Let's lead off with our top story, which involves former Hayes pitcher Donnie Joseph. Joseph, who graduated from Hayes in 2006 and played college baseball at the University of Houston, made history on July 11th. The night previous, on July 10th, Joseph was called up from AAA Omaha, where he joined the Kansas City Royals, becoming the first Hayes CISD baseball player to reach the major leagues. During the game on July 11th, he added another achievement. Joseph made his Major League Baseball debut in relief against the New York Yankees in famed Yankee Stadium, becoming the first athlete in district history to play in the show. Joseph went on to pitch for a third of an inning against the Yankees, allowing one hit and a walk. He went on to make another relief appearance the next day against the Cleveland Indians. In that game, Joseph went an inning, giving up no hits and two walks. He also notched his first Major League strikeout, getting Jason Kipnis to strike out looking. For an in-depth look into the road Joseph traveled to get to the bigs, along with his experiences with the Royals, be sure to pick up this week's edition of the Hayes Free Press. In other news, the three Hayes CISD athletes were honored by the Austin American Statesman in their list of the top 50 Central Texas athletes for 2012-2013. Coming in at number three was former Hayes football and baseball player and now soon to be Texas State Bobcat, Granger Stutter. Cracking the top 10 at number 10 was Lady Rebel softball pitcher, Junior Sarah Leal. Finally, former Lady Rebel basketball player and golfer Lindsey McCurdy made the list, making it back-to-back -back nominations for the soon-to-be SMU golfer. Congratulations to the athletes on their achievement. Over the past weekend, the members of the Line Drive Academy select baseball team out of Vita earned an achievement of their own. The team, which comprises of 17 and 18 year old players, some from the Hayes and Lehman baseball teams, won 6-0 in a tournament held on the campus of Texas A&M Corpus Christi. The Diamond Dogs now sport a record of 16-2-1 and are in the midst of a 13 game winning streak. It is one of the Diamond Dogs which will be the focus of this week's Athlete of the Week. Today we highlight Lehman Lobo's senior pitcher, Justin Penny. Penny has been a part of the Lobo Varsity Pro Baseball program since his freshman year in 2011 and has compiled a career record of 6-18 with a 3.27 ERA. He has struck out 99 batters and walked only 55 in 134 and two-thirds innings pitched with the Lobos. Justin has also been a part of Line Drive Academy for the past two summers as well. He sports a 2.32 ERA over 19 and a third innings and has a 4-1 record with the Diamond Dogs. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our Athlete of the Week, Justin Penny. Okay, Justin, well, tell me first off, uh, how long have you been playing with Line Drive Academy? Um, I've been playing for there for two summers now, so a year and a half around that time. Okay. Um, how, how has your experience been playing with Line Drive Academy? What, what have you done? What do you do with the team? And uh, how successful has the team been this, this last year? Um, I'm a pitcher and a first baseman, so a corner infield. And we just won our previous tournament in Corpus. We went 6-0 and won the championship, I guess you would call it. And uh, we're actually on a 15-game winning streak right now. We haven't we've won 15 games in a row. And uh, overall, it's been a really successful two years with them. You know, the my coach is actually playing older. I guess the same age now, but playing with older kids from last year has really helped me improve my game. You know, playing against older kids, you get more. You know, they're matured more and stuff. So overall, it's been really good. And when we're talking about age groups, um, you told me it was it was 17 and 18 year olds. Uh, how important is it to play against that age group where it's it's high school seniors, college freshmen, right around your age group, and now playing younger kids or older kids or older older players? Right. Um, it's it's been really good. You know, you 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 play against most of the kids have been signed to college already, so it helps you know see what the next level is going to be like most of the time. Okay, and with Line Drive Academy, um, you talk about your coaches as well being a really big uh, sticking point for you to help develop your game, and it's not just not just all off the field, but on the field, but off the field as well. Tell me about what they've done to help you. Um, he's really helped me, you know, mature as a player, you know, get me ready to go into college and stuff. And uh, you know, off the field, he, you know, he's 
strives for you to be a better person and stuff. So, yeah. Okay. All right, Justin. So let's go ahead and move move on to Layman now. We'll talk about Layman High School and Layman baseball. Last year was a bit of a tough year for y'all. I mean, you had a couple of big big high moments, beating Hayes, sweeping Hayes, and also you talk about beating Alamo Heights. Right. Tell me about that win over Alamo Heights. What did it mean for the team to get that? Well, Alamo Heights is a you know well known program around the area, and we haven't beat them since ever. So you know it was a really good win under our belt to go out there and beat them. You know when they're that big of a program in our area, in our district, actually. And, and so let's just go ahead and talk about what's what's ahead for the Lobos now. Lobo, the, what does Lehman have this year that people should be looking forward to going into 20, 2013, 2014? Well, we, we've lost uh, a lot of good players from last year, you know, Hunter and, you know, some other guys. But we have a lot of young guys that will, you know, are going to come up and get the job done. So hopefully they can step up to the plate. Now this year you're going to be your primary role. This year will be as a pitcher, and um, they always say filling in for the next guy, especially when that next player is a player like Hunter, where he was so dynamic. Uh, in your mind, what's it going to take to to you know follow in his footsteps, but also not try to I guess uh, try to try to be Hunter Lehman, but to be Justin Penny to make your own name for yourself, to right. where you're not following primarily in his footsteps. Right. Well, Hunter was a you know kind of put Layman on the map, I would say, you know, he's he's really grown this program, you know, where it is now. But uh, you're right, like you're not I'm not gonna follow in his footsteps. But, you know, I'm gonna try my best to go out there and, you know, kinda repeat what he's done over the past three years, so hopefully we can, you know, be successful like he was. And we also talked about earlier in our interview about colleges, and you've been looking at one college in particular. It was A&M Corpus Christi. Um, tell me about what, what endears you to that school. What, what, what makes you believe, like, you know what, I think that's the school I really would like to go to to play, continue my baseball career. Right. Um, I really had a connection with the coaches down there. You know, we've talked back and forth and whatnot, but I feel like when you go to college, you can't just go there for sports. You have to have a good academically, too. So I feel like it fits both athletically and academically. How excited are you now for the season to start? Even though the season's still a little bit of a ways away, how right. excited are you that to get back into the weight room and get off season started, but also get ready for the next year? Right. I'm, I'm really excited. You know, I think we have some, you know, the potential to make a run in the playoffs. So hopefully we can, you know, have a good, strong off season with the team and, you know, push to not just making the playoffs, but making it past the first round. All right. Excellent. Justin, thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate it. For a full recap of the Donnie Joseph and Justin Penny stories, be sure to pick up this week's edition of the Hayes Free Press or view the stories online at HayesFreePress.com. You can like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter. For the Sports Roundup, I'm Moses Laos.